had seen Family Law, thought it was an incredible show, and we were sharing an office, uh, or, or the floor, uh, me and Paul Haggis and I, and, uh, and he says to this day, you know, there used to be, a, from syndication, there are cutouts of Tony Danza, life-size cutouts of me. My kid, my son, when he was a ba when he was young, he used to take it and, and put it on the street and charge five dollars a Polaroid just for people to stand with me. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the cutout was in the is, was in our office, was in our reception area, and he would see it every day. He'd see it. Finally, he went, "Hey, you know what?" <laughs> and he gave me this part. And uh, uh, Joe Solano, the last communist in the world, other than Gorbachev, was supposed to. <laughs> Yeah, because he was a, Solano, Solano was a guy who, I think it really had a, an effect on me too, uh, politically, because he would do anything for the little guy, for the uh, downtrodden, for the people who have no voice. And it makes me, in real life, I think about that. You know, I think about people that don't have a voice, you know, and... Uh, and so he was, uh, it was a wonderful part to play. I loved it. And I loved that cast, Chris McDowell. And, oh, man, we had so much fun. And we had so much fun. Tell us about Paul Haggis. Oh, classic character. Um, he, uh, you know, he would, do, he would do four shows a year that he wrote and directed. And so he would direct those four shows. And invariably, those would be the best shows. Uh, I, I won't say that to the other guys, David and, and, uh, and everybody else that was there, Fred. But... Um, but he, one of the shows that he did uh, was a death penalty show. And then I was, uh, Kathleen and I were, uh, the, you know, big in it. And, you know, it was the kind of show where if you're a death penalty advocate, or if you're, you believe in it, you'd go, hmm. And if you're, uh, again, a pro, uh, an anti-death death, uh, death penalty advocate, you'd go, hmm. Because it really did make you think. It really was wonderful. It was, uh, it was incredible. He, uh, you know, he's demanding, uh, he's blunt. Like he'll say to you, uh, what's with the mouth open? <laughs> so what do you mean? Close your mouth, you know, you're like, okay. Um, he, um, he, uh, he's a brilliant writer. And, uh, and then I got to work with him on Crash, you know, that movie. And, and uh, I wanted that Matt Dillon part so bad, but I, he couldn't get financing with me, I knew that. Um, but he's a, you know, he's a taskmaster. And, 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 and to tell you the truth, he's a little tougher on the women than he is on the guys. Mm 